Hi guys, it's Darlene and welcome to my channel. All right, today we are going to be talking about hair. This is going to be part one because otherwise this video is going to be way too long. So in part one, I'm gonna talk about hair extensions. I'm gonna talk about the color of my hair and how I style it. Um, and then in part two, I will talk about the tools that are needed as well as the products that I use. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> And start okay uh, let's start with my natural hair this is not my natural hair nor is it my natural color um, I have uh, my hair would be gray I started turning gray when I was 30 so I'd probably be fully gray by now if uh, I let that happen but I'm too young for that um, many of you have asked what colors uh, or what color I use so I'm gonna put that in the description box because it's kind of this whole <laughs> drawn out thing you know that my stylist does I do a base and I do a toner so I will list that in the description box if you're interested that way if if you are interested in the color you could just give it to your hairdresser and she'll know exactly what it means all right so um, today you can see I have my hair straightened Today I did it straight because I'm gonna show you a video later on about how I go ahead styling it uh, in a curl and um, so I thought that I would just show you what it looks like straight. Let me just pull it forward so that you can see. So this is what it looks like. I have used hair extensions in the past. Uh, if you haven't seen the cashmere clip-in extension video, I will list that here. And I do love the cashmere um, extensions, uh, the clip-ins. Uh, they were, uh, they are very pricey. I think they cost around $200 if I remember correctly. And the thing about clip-ins is you clip them in, but you can't sleep in them. Uh, you have to take them out and they are heavy. Uh, I had never tried in taped in hair extensions and Amazing Beauty Hair Extensions had contacted me and asked me if I would do a video for their YouTube channel. And I agreed, so they sent me the hair extensions. I knew that with taped in hair extensions, the best way to get a natural look is to go and have them professionally put in this unless you're a hairstylist this is really not so and you want them to look natural this is not something that i would recommend that you do yourself um so there are some tips and tricks and i will go over that with you but um this is what the box looks like um and the color that i got and every, everything will be listed down below but the color i got is auburn number 33 it was fairly close to my own color. However, um, I will show you a picture here. You can see that um, in that picture, we had just put the extensions in, and at that point, I only used two boxes. So in the back, you can actually see where it looks kind of coppery, which was my natural color, and then it looked a little more on the um, blush, uh, or rose color towards the bottom, and that was the hair extension. needed to add a toner to take away the copper and add just a little more blush in. So the next picture you'll see I had the blush toner put in. So um, I got the 18 inch length and one box equals 50 grams and this is um, human hair 100% natural human hair and it's beautiful these are some of the pieces that I haven't used and you can see absolutely gorgeous and um, it is so silky and so soft I was really really surprised and um, your box will come with 20 pieces however each a uh, section of hair that you use will require two pieces okay so in reality there's only 10 pieces so let me go over some of the tips that i would recommend <clears throat> in doing um tape and hair extensions so the first is to have somebody that knows what they're doing or is willing to learn with you <laughs> um, so uh the second thing is is to try and match the color the best you can obviously the third, very, very important, is to have enough extensions. So the first time that we put them in, I had two boxes, and it wasn't quite enough uh, when it was straight 
uh, it shows more than when it's curly. So I went ahead and ordered another box and put them in. We didn't use the whole entire third box, but it gave me enough because my hair is one very short and two very thick. So I have a lot of hair, so we have to match that at the bottom with what I have at the top. So um, that is probably the number one thing is definitely make sure you have enough hair. And then um, you will lay it in a brick pattern and I'll show you some video here of Brittany. She's amazing by the way. If you guys are in my area, um, I highly recommend her. She's awesome just the sweetest thing on earth. I'll list her information down below as well as her Instagram. And um, so we went ahead and um, sectioned off and you want to leave about three inches from the bottom, um, you know, free and then start there so that when you pull your hair up, you don't show the tape extensions, okay? And the other thing is just think about when you're putting your hair in a ponytail, right? So if you're gonna pull it back like this, you wanna make sure that none of the extensions are showing on the sides. Just depends, you have to ask, you know, you have to tell your hairdresser, look, I'm gonna put my hair up, I'm gonna pull it to the side, whatever it is, so that she can work around that. Uh, so as you can see, the next thing is, is to make sure you're laying it in a brick pattern. So if you lay two extensions at the very bottom, which is the smallest part, right? The base of your skull is the smallest part. And then when you move up, you're going to lay three. They're going to be in a brick pattern and so on and so on. Here's the other little tidbit of information. You can cut the extensions in half. So certain areas, like I'm going to show you, like up in here, we have this tiny little extension right here because it's been cut in half. Can you see that? See little tiny ones that are around the face. So one, they don't hurt. And two, um, you can get more of them. So that's the beauty is that they can be cut in half. You just take it, you cut them right down the center, and then you can use these two pieces as one extension in areas where you might not be able to fit a full extension. So that was a very big difference because it will be uh, much more comfortable. Uh, the next thing that's really important is um, once your extensions have been put in is to blend them. <laughs> um, the ends will all be blent. So of course you need to take and feather them. I'm not using terms that a hairdresser would use, just a lay person, but you want to feather them in. So you want them to blend as much as possible. What Brittany did was they just blend very nicely um, in the front. And uh, so you can't really tell what is my hair and what are the extensions. Let me go ahead and show you the back of the hair. So there is some upkeep with having extensions and I'll also tell you how they feel. When you first get them, I think they're very light, but um, I would say, remember when you're having them put in, you know, they are pulling your hair a little bit and putting them in and maneuvering and that's not something that's normally done. So your head may be a little sore. Um, when you go to sleep, you know, I, boy, I have read everything, you know, put your hair in a braid, sleep on a silk pillow. Well, I do none of that and they they stay perfectly fine. I will say when you wash your hair, you want to make sure that you're using a sulfate free shampoo and you use very little conditioner and you don't put it up where your roots are. You only condition the ends. Otherwise the conditioner, especially if it's a good one, which I use a good one from Purology, it'll just slide those extensions right out and of course you don't want that um the second thing is they are re you will need to have them retaped so there's a little sticky tape on here that you just <clears throat> peel off you can see right there you just peel it off and then you stick this one and sandwich your hair in between them when you have them removed which they usually last six to eight weeks <clears throat> depending on how fast your hair grows uh, you go ahead and remove them and then that little glue you just kind of peel off and then you put it on a new piece of tape and this is what the little tape strips look like so you just put a new one on and I got these ones from Sally and they're awesome because they have a little line here I don't know if you can see so that if you did need to cut them in half uh, there's a nice little line there to show you 
um, you know, how do they feel? Um, I mean, I certainly know that they're there, but they're not uncomfortable. And I love the fullness and the length. Now I have a lot of thick hair, so it wasn't so much fullness. I was truly just looking to get my length back and I love them. And I, I just, they're so soft, you guys. I mean, see that, how soft. Uh, next, let me go ahead and I'll show you the video of how I go about styling my hair. If I am curling it, um, this is how I do the curls. There Now there's two different kinds of curls that I do use. I do more of a beachy wave where I'm, when I curl it, I'll leave about this much of the ends out. And then that kind of gives me more of a beachy wave. And then if I want just really full curls, then I'll go ahead and twist it and, um, you know, make sure all the ends are in the curling iron. So I'll go ahead and show you some video of my styling my hair. Okay, the first thing I do is I use the Paul Mitchell heat protectant spray. Uh, it protects both my natural hair as well as the hair extensions. And then I just go ahead and use one and a quarter inch uh, curling iron and um, go ahead and uh, curl each section. If I was to do a beachy wave, I would alternate from front to back uh, with the sections, but because I'm just doing full curls, I just do them all in the same direction. your hair is curled it does hide the extensions a lot easier especially if like in my case my hair is very short um, it does hide the extensions a lot easier than when your hair is straight all right once all the curls are in I just let them cool and then I'll just take my fingers and just give a good shake through the curls just to loosen them up. All right, so that is how I style my hair cur for curly hair. This is what it looks like when it's straight. Uh, I can't really talk about any other extensions, tape-in extensions, because these are the first ones I've ever used, and I'm extremely pleased. And by the way, guys, these are so reasonable. They're around, I'll li again, list in the description box, they're around $50 a box. Now, granted, it did take me three boxes, but I have very thick and I had short hair. So, and it depends on what length you want, and again, these were 18 inches in Auburn number 33. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, be on the lookout because video number two will be right behind this one and I will show you all the styling tools and styling products that I do use while doing my hair and how to take care of my hair extensions. So guys, I hope you have a great day and I will talk to you soon. Bye guys.